What's up everybody, your boy Pat, back again with another edition of Second Take. Today's topic of the day is the Air Griffey Max 1s. This is a Heat Rocks production. Now, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell as it helps out the channel. Now, the Ken Griffey's. I'm excited to open these because these are dope and I've been really wanting a pair of Griffey's for quite some time. They had a restock and we were able to cop them. So, let's look at the box. Pretty OG-ish if you tell, if you ask me. Got the big Nike logo, no mistaken. There's some Nikes in here. On the front, more Nike branding. On the right, more Nike branding. On the left side, you got Nike branding here, and then you got all of your information for the sneaker. These are the Air Griffey Max 1s, Varsity Royal, Varsity Volt. Those are the colors. On the back, more Nike logos. And then finally on the bottom, you got some Nike branding up here. Swoosh, just do it and then a little message and some more Nike stuff here. So pretty standard box. Now let's open up the box and see what's inside. Obviously, you know there's some Ken Griffey's in here, but let's see if these are fire. Mmm. Those, that blue is popping. That blue, that's a royal blue as far as I'm concerned. They can call it whatever blue they want. That's a nice blue. Get the other sneaker out the box. We're gonna move the box to the side. Take a look at both sneakers really quick. Let's see what these look like. Wow, these are fire. I could see Ken Griffey playing with these in his heyday in Seattle on the turf. These are nice. I know obviously you play baseball with cleats, but if you're playing on turf, especially in the outfield, you'll be okay with cleats. Not so much when running the bases and hitting some of them dirt patches, but these are fire nonetheless. We're gonna move one of these to the side and we're gonna take a look at just one shoe and break it down. But there's a lot to like and a lot to explain and discuss with this shoe. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pop that out, the toe box, the um, cardboard toe box they put inside, help keep that toe box nice and clean of creases while it's being shipped. Okay, let's look at this. It's a lot going on. So the outer sole, you got three colors. There's a little piece of dirt there, it looks like, oh, got it off. All right, you got three different colors here. You got black, sorry, you got four different colors. You got black, you got white, you got royal blue, that's what I'm calling it. And then you got some lime green poking through and you got Nike Brandon here. Ken Griffey, obviously his number is 24. You got that Nike right there. This here, I don't know if you can hear that. It's like a felt. Just on this Nike logo, it's like a felt. This is leather. This is more, these are two different types of materials. This is like a clean leather. This is more like a felt, but not as felty. That's the word of the day. Not as felty as this Nike brand in here. So really nice. You got three different air bubbles. One here in the heel and then two here. This is probably one behind, but it appears as two. So I'm gonna call it two, but it's probably one. Don't argue with me. We're gonna go with three air bubbles. Two in the front, one in the back. Got this nice kind of swoosh look, like kind of wavy. I really like that design and I really like this how they raise these. These look really nice, and it looks like an M to me. I don't know if that's intentional, but obviously Ken Griffey played for the Seattle Mariners. I'm gonna say that that was intentional. On the insole, same kind of deal. No, no branding as far as Nikes, but you got the air bubbles again. Really nice, you got these here. I'm saying these are M's. They're definitely M's as far as I'm concerned. And then on the back, you got another Nike logo. This time they went with the lime green. And you got, 
little bit of a hoop here you can see and then they have this is kind of like what they used to call was like a sock inside so it's like a pre-built-in sock I really like sneakers like that because of the fact that it feels comfortable and it's really supportive. And then you got the air bubble back here as well. So this obviously is one air bubble in the entire back. You can see it from the left side, the right side, and in the back. When you look at the front, man, these colors are dope. You got this cool thing right here. The strap, the OG strap. Right there it says Nike on it. And then you got the King Griffey already talked about a 24. You can put that on. It just gives another level of dopeness. The tongue, really nicely constructed. I like this little hoop thing, this little hoop hook kind of thing. And they went with another Nike logo, the lime again. And it's all black and it just feels really premium. You also have hooks all throughout. Nope, you can't put laces under there. But it's kind of like another level of detail where they went up the tongue with another piece of material. And then they changed it up here on the front where they gave you another lime green where it kind of gives it another spot for the lace to go. On the toe box, we already discussed it. You got the Nike branding kind of peels into the toe box. And then when you look inside, you can see they still stay with that lime green. They made a lot of nice different touches with lime green. They didn't overdo it. They just accent it, but Nike Air logo, Brandon inside. When you look at laces, really nice laces, man. Really nice quality, round, braided. You can see that, the braids. And then on the aglets, just a clear plastic piece there to cover the tips. And then you don't have any eyelets per se. You've got these loops in which way you would thread the lace through to tie your sneaker up. These are probably going to become one of my favorite pair of kicks to wear. I already know these are comfortable. I had these back in the days and <laughs> I'm excited to wear these. Shout out to everybody rocking me on Instagram, YouTube, the Anchor app. You can also find me on Spotify as well as Apple and Google Podcasts. It's your boy Pat. Peace. Catch you in the next one.